I worked on the uh, first Titan, Armada, the first Rogue, the 350Z, the 370Z. It's a long list, but those are the main ones. I have uh, a group of people that I work with here. We collaborate of all different skill sets, everything from sketching, clay modeling, digital creation, milling, uh, scanning, you name it. We have a big team here. I'm Diane Allen, and I'm the design manager for the new Titan truck. When we looked at what we wanted to uh, capture in this Titan, we had to be our own, we had to be Nissan. And so in order for us to do that, we had to honor what we create as a form language, a as a company. And so when you interpret that in a very grand big scale, it still has a Nissan flavor, but undeniably full size. You know, we had a, a kind of inspiration wall to start the design conversation on the, within the team. And we all brought imagery, and a lot of people brought big working equipment. Some people brought tools. Other people brought pictures of a Titan god uh, with a shield and a helmet. And so all of this together started to kind of make sense. Randy Rodriguez was actually the designer whose sketch was chosen for the truck. He's a very talented guy, and uh, yeah, his sketch just grabbed everyone's attention. It's got an incredible, powerful stance, very confident, very muscular, and very, I would I'd like to say, almost like a technology feel to it. The way the whole parts come together and fit and finish, it's like a big, giant, locked puzzle. When we looked at how do we capture a North American taste and really make it a North American truck, uh, we know that it's designed in the U.S., it's built in the U.S., it's engineered in the U.S., it's tested in the U.S., but to capture that taste, you have to have some traditional aspects, and it has to say truck, yet at the same time, we wanted to modernize it. We didn't want to be architectural like uh, a lot of the domestics are. We wanted this to have some kind of ana anatomical feel but also have this kind of predator feel where Titan is the gods and he's got to have some kind of power and strength. So we created a form language and character lines that was not just a slab side with a punched out wheel. When we got the package of that engine, and usually you have to you build the sheet metal around what you've got, right? So when we finally got the layout of that engine bay, we realized how much volume we had to bring these fenders out, how much nose we had to bring up. I have been with Nissan for 30 years. I'm born and raised in Detroit, but moved out there right after school and hired on with Nissan. I was actually the design manager of the first Titan, and it had a good lifespan, but to come back and be the manager again for this program, make it even bigger and better than what you did the first time around. So yeah, I think I feel very proud of how we've taken that Titan and brought it here now.